yeah this was my quarantine get ready with me this is the final look this is just like the little chill fit that i threw on but yeah you'll see the pictures on the gram so if you don't follow me on instagram Go follow me right now at Kenley Jordan underscore. Add me on Snapchat at Kenley underscore Jordan. My clothes are kind of falling because I haven't had these in for a while now. Like I really had them in all day. It's about 7, 8 o'clock. You know, quarantine. You don't even know what time it is because all day just feel the same. So yeah, my hair kind of looks a little messy now. If y'all want a video on this hair color, just let me know. Because I would not mind remaking this hair color. Because I had a lot of fun doing this color. So I'm definitely going to do it again. But, um, yeah, just let me know in next time I'll film it. Um, I just want to thank you so much to I See Hair for sponsoring this video and sending me this hair. This hair definitely came together. It's definitely a look. I love it. I hope you guys love it. You know, I got, like, the real YouTuber camera now or whatever, so...
y'all i just finished my hair and y'all seen how i did my hair i'm about to get started into my makeup so you know we're in quarantine or whatever <laughs> Yeah, you know we're on quarantine or whatever, so literally all I have to do is to watch TikToks all day. So on TikTok, they said to put on your primer first, then put on your setting powder. And I've tried it before and I really liked it, so I'm about to do that right now. Sacha Mattifying or Sacha Mattifier Face Primer. Any face primer will really do. I'm not a huge primer person. Like, I really honestly don't use primer on an everyday basis i just really use primer i really just use primers when i remember to use primer you know i'm making the tiktok that's like the victorious one hold on <laughs> oh my tiktok lit i ain't been on my tiktok in a minute lucky <laughs> i miss my face so i'm trying to make this tiktok while i'm making this get ready with me but y'all I kept messing up, so let me just rub my primer in. <laughs> it's that TikTok where it's like the Victoria's song. And she's like, let's go, Audrey. And then like people would be doing their makeup. Like you go from basically zero to 100, like within the course of the song. And then in the song, you know, she'd be speaking. She'd be talking her shit. So it just makes sense. But TikTok is so hard, y'all. Like, it's so fucking hard. <laughs> that one might have been a good one. The airspun powder, this is my new favorite. I'm just gonna use the little fluff that comes in here. Now I'm looking real ashy and crazy. I'm looking like a ghost, like I'm doing ghost makeup. But we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna start with the brows. I'm just using my Anastasia Dip Brow. I've used this for so long. Okay, so now I'm just going to outline my brow with this LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm almost out of this one, but I just got a fresh new one. But I'm just trying to use, like... The rest that's in here before I open my new one. Yeah, this is the color Fawn. I feel like Fawn is always so hard to find. Like even at the beauty supply stores and stuff. Like if any of the colors is gone, like it's always Fawn. Like Fawn is always gone. And then I'm gonna go with some foundation. This foundation, this is just this is the Revlon Color Stay foundation. I don't know how I feel about it. It's just a foundation. I feel like I might have said this in another video, but like I'm not. A huge foundation person so I'm not super picky but it gets the job done so I'm just outline my brows and I'm come back because I can't do my brows and talk so Now it's just foundation time. Do do do. Ooh. But yeah, I really don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead because I just feel like whatever foundation I have left over from my face is just enough for my forehead. Especially because I don't really know what was just going through my head right there, but I just put on so much foundation. I'm gonna go back over my foundation with this LA Pro Conceal Color Corrector. This is the orange color corrector. I just kind of started using this, but I think I like it so far. I feel like it makes a difference. I don't know. Maybe I just think it makes a difference. And I'm really just adding an extra step just because. But yeah, I'm taking that. And I'm putting that under my eyes and above my mouth. So I'm calling this like a quarantine get ready with me because 
I'm getting ready, but you know, we're in quarantine, so like, what am I really getting ready for? Exactly, but I'm gonna still get ready because, in case y'all haven't noticed already, which I know y'all already done peep because we way into the video at this point, but I got a new camera, I got the Canon PowerShot um, G7X Mark II. And yeah, that's what I'm using to film right now. I'm like so excited that I got a new camera. I just feel like a new camera was just what I needed to just help motivate me to take my YouTube more serious and just take it to the next level. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. I'm really just going under my eyes, a little bit on the chin, a little above my mouth. And that's it, as y'all can see where I brought the concealer like all the way down my nose because that's going to help with the contour that I'm trying to create. So once again, I'm looking really crazy. So I'm going to take my air spun powder and I'm going to immediately set my concealer because I don't want it to go nowhere y'all I need to clean my brushes so bad I don't even want to talk about it okay so I just set my face and I'm gonna just let this sit for a second so we're gonna get into the nose contour so I'm using this black radiance powder this is just like a face powder and it's in the color mocha and I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I've just recently kind of switched up how I've started the nose contour. But yeah, basically I switched to using this brush which I used to use like a dome brush before but now I'm using this brush. So using the pointed brush and I'm dipping it in a powder. Y'all don't know why my aperture keeps changing. I think that's what that is. And it is. So go me. I'm learning new things about my camera as I'm using it. I've only had it for two days. So I'm still trying to figure out the best way to work it and all that stuff. Because due to all this corona stuff and all this quarantine stuff, I'm still trying to figure out my setup because I'm not back in my apartment and all of my things are really still in my apartment but yeah i'm not in my apartment anymore so it's like i'm still trying to figure out the best way i can set up at my house so with the powder i'm just going back like on the sides of my nose but like on the outsides of the contour so now i'm going in with my terracotta bronzer this is my favorite this is like the only bronzer i've really ever used and i probably We'll just rebuy this again <laughs> because I love it that much. Because I can never run out of this and I can't not have this. This is just my go to, like, always comes through every time. It is a little on the expensive side, so keep that in mind. But it's worth it, it really is. Now I'm gonna go with some blush. This is some BH Cosmetics blush. And this is in Tulip, and it basically comes with like two different blushes inside. I don't know what I did, but I messed it up. But I love this blush, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people would be sleep on blush. Like a lot of people, I feel like, skip blush. A nice natural blush, I feel like, is just a necessity. And I, I don't know, I always like to add a little bit to tip my nose, because I'm just kind of weird, but... I don't know, I think it's cute. <laughs> so now I'm going to go over my brows with this Anastasia brow powder. And this is the chocolate one. And I'm going to use the darker shade in here. I just, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about all of this coronavirus and quarantine stuff. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it just doesn't feel real. But it's like, this actually is really serious. Like, we're really in a worldwide 
pandemic and like people really are dying from this but it's just like I don't know it still hasn't hit me yet that it's real okay so since I'm still keeping this makeup pretty simple and I'm not trying to do too much I'm gonna just go back in with my bronzing powder and my contour powder so y'all can see like the color difference kind of it's just a little bit darker but I'm gonna just take this on a fluffy brush and blend this just in my crease everywhere that's it for the eyes which I feel like that really made like a big difference <sighs> y'all I miss my apartment so much <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with some rose water spray I don't know how people would be looking out cute when they do this cuz I be flinching so I'm gonna go in with this Becca highlighter and this is in champagne pop I remember when this used to be like all everybody all like any beauty youtuber on youtube this was all they would talk about champagne pop but i still love me some champagne pop we're almost there. So I'm gonna just go in with some black eyeliner and just line my lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna put on some mascara. face like in a month I haven't had a wig on in like over a month so I'm like I'm shook right now I feel like myself again I'm like I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like I look like myself again okay because y'all I've just been feeling so unmotivated like really in general but I've been trying to fight it you know I've been being productive but it's just like as far as like getting up getting ready for the day the lashes I'm wearing today are of course from candy girl extensions i will link them in the description box and you know shop at your girl i don't know if i said it but these lashes are in the style sugar lately i've just been obsessed with these i don't know That was a NYX liquid, matte liquid lipstick, um, let me look, in the shade Beauty Mark, that's what this was. And then I'm going in with another NYX soft matte lip cream, and this is in, y'all I'm stupid, it's on the bottom. This is in San Paola, and I'm just blotting this like on my inner lip. I top it off. I'm just using all NYX, like NYX lip products, top of the line. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. And I'm going to just dab a little bit of this on top. And then I'm going to top it off with some gloss. Duh. I look here I went outside and stuff so like my curls just kind of dropped <sighs> quarantine life um I don't know 
I'm probably going to go put on a decent outfit because I'm not going to let this hair and makeup go to waste. <laughs> and this is the end of my little quarantine get ready with me. I just wanted to show y'all how I installed this hair. I didn't show y'all how I dyed this hair because I already have like a how to do highlights video on my channel. But clearly I did different type of highlights on this wig than I did on that other wig. But I'm really just like obsessed with how this color came out. Okay, I just had to go and define my part a little bit more. But y'all, look at the difference that defining your part makes. I just wanted a lot of like really small highlights, but also like keeping the hair still very dark. Like I wanted all dark roots everywhere. I'm really happy with how it came out. I really like this color. I know I already talked about this hair in the beginning of the video, but I really like this hair. This was my first time doing four bundles on a wig. I usually just do three, but this was my first time doing four and I love it. I like having a lot of hair and this was four bundles of 26 so it's also pretty long let me show y'all so yeah I'm 5'2 so the hair kind of like touches the top of my butt I cut some layers into this hair and I just really like how it all came together I hope you guys enjoyed watching me install this hair and watching me just do the simple quarantine makeup routine you know nothing too much because we ain't going nowhere Cause we're in quarantine and we're social distancing if y'all aren't already go follow me on instagram go add me on snapchat follow me on twitter i stay really active on there plus whenever i'm about to upload a video i always let y'all know ahead of time on my instagram or my snapchat so make sure y'all go follow me on there i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all i have to say for now Stay tuned to my channel for more videos. I got a new camera, so quality is going up. Consistency is going up. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.